Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.5.3. Use multi-factor authentication for local and network access to privileged accounts and for network access to non-privileged accounts. Now, I know you're looking at this control and you're going multi-factor authentication to access non-privileged accounts. Let me break it down for you. What it really means is that if you're going to access controlled unclassified information, you really need to use multi-factor authentication first in order to verify that. Now, I got to tell you, for a lot of us, that's a problem, a big problem, right? We walk into our office, we log into our, our regular domains or our computers, and then that's it, right? We just access it, boom, no big deal. That's not allowed anymore. If you're a defense contractor or if you're being required under the NIST SP-100171 uh, compliance standard to secure your network in that fashion or your IT system in that fashion, Yes, you will need multi-factor authentication. Lots and lots of ways to utilize this, lots of ways to get around it. Uh, and I'll, I'll even give a couple of examples here in just a minute. But if I was giving a, sim a sample answer, I'd say, hey, look, MFA is in use for both local and remote access to any information system resources. MFA is required via physical premise security system plus active directory and domain services for local system resources. Uh, VPN access requires MFA plus Active Directory credentials. Access to CUI within the ER, uh, if you have an ERP system or an accounting system uh, requires multi-factor authentication as well. <laughs> lots and lots of ways to to really get around this one. A couple of examples because again, sometimes it's a little hard to, to wrap your head around it when you realize that a, a, a typical Windows credential isn't enough. Number one, you can use Windows Hello. All right, technically Windows Hello qualifies as multi-factor authentication because it can turn your computer into a token, right? The computer is something you have, maybe your face in a webcam is something that you are, uh, you know, or a password plus a pin, uh, and again, the computer itself serves as a token. So that's, that's probably one of the easiest ways. Uh, and again, you know, there are some people who sort of say that's a little bit debatable because it's not necessarily time tied uh, to the uh, multi-factor authentication. Look, we can have that debate all day long, but again, happy to have that debate but again, it really depends upon your individual circumstance. Other methods are companies that I'm sure you've heard of out there, like Duo. We love Duo, Okta, all those guys. They do really terrific jobs. Uh, a lot of our most popular firewalls, you know, I'll tell you what, Sophos, I'm a really huge fan of Sophos, Sophos, tomato, tomato, however they want to pronounce it. Uh, Sophos is a great company. And again, if you look at how they uh, have their VPN set up in their firewalls, uh, they have multi-factor authentication you can turn on and it works great. So if you're sitting and trying to figure out how to secure your network with MFA in one particular fashion or another, or you're wondering what might be best, feel free to give us a call because if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP-100171 or CMMC, and you're doing it on your own and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. You can visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. If you love the content we're putting out there for you, let us know, right? Don't be shy. You're sitting right there. Your mouse is like here, right? And then the button's right here. Hit that like button. Let us know we did a good job for you. And even better, smash that subscribe button. That way, uh, as soon as our compliance nerds roll out new content, you'll be the first one to see it. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to eventually get through. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And man, if you haven't liked one of our videos yet, this is your time. Don't, don't go away. Just hit, hit the like button. It's just it's one click. That's all I have. One click, just hit it there. Cool. I'll see you on the next one.